Well, our next guests are mother and daughter Caroline Cook and Valeria Tokawa. They've each published a book about their own accounts of overcoming meth addiction. Via's book, Rehabilitated, tells the story of how she came to be addicted to the drug. And Caroline's book, Where There's Life, There Really Is Hope, is the inside story of what it's like to be the mother of a pee addict. Welcome to you both. Thank you. It is yeah. lovely yeah. to have you yeah. both in the studio. Um, Via, let's start with you. Take, yeah. us, take us right back. So what was life like for you growing up? Uh, so I had lots of traumatic experiences growing up, uh, but the one that sort of was really hard, well, that I couldn't deal with, was when my son was killed in a car, car driveway accident when he was 19 months. Gosh. Um, and after that, I just became emotionally unavailable. I put a whole bunch of walls up to protect myself. And yeah, I pretty much wasn't living. I pretty much, like a part of me did die when he died. Mm, What's well, your child, I mean. Mm. Yes, yeah, exactly. And is this where the addiction started? Had you been involved with drugs beforehand? Was this completely new? Yeah, no, it was completely new because when I was at school, it was all about, um, you know, cannabis and stuff. So I was very aware of that. Um, but I had no idea about meth or pee or anything about it. Right. Um, I had a bit of an alcohol addiction afterwards. It started to get uh, more and more um, frequent. And then, yeah, one day I was just in the wrong place with the wrong people, really desperate, really low, and I was real broken, and I got offered it. They said it would make you feel better. I was like, that's what I need. Mm. <laughs> and then, yeah, I had a puff, and I was pretty much hooked. Like, I didn't have a puff for a month after, but I was thinking about it pretty much wow. ever since. Gosh, that's actually terrifying. Uh, Caroline, when did you first realise that Via had a, w was an addict? Oh, not until some months later when just everything didn't add up. The behaviour got more and more erratic. Because she was so against drugs when she was younger, mm. it didn't even enter my mind mm. that she would ever get into it. And, um, yeah, and so it wasn't until things got really weird then I started wondering. And then I confronted her and asked her specifically, and it was a way she denied it that I kind of thought, hmm, maybe she is. And I don't know that she ever, I don't know that we ever actually had that verbal conversation mm. where she admitted that she was, but somehow <laughs> she knew that I knew and I knew that she was, and so we proceeded from there. Because they can yeah. get very good at lying, can't you? Oh, yeah. can get very good at you know, yeah. manipulating and lying mm. about things. Yeah. And there's some other daughter relationships, intuition, yeah. I guess, yeah, is playing definitely. a huge part there. <laughs> yeah. and, and can I just say from the outset, so pleased you're telling your story, because it's, right. it yeah. it's so helpful to so many families, because they, you know, don't think it happens to them, exactly. but all of a sudden it can. Yeah. It would happen. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what was the turning point for you? Because clearly you've been rehabilitated. Yeah. <laughs> so, I uh, have. What was the turning point? Uh, it was when my older son was going to be taken off me um, through the courts that I knew I needed to turn around. Um, so, you know, I started off slowly, it wasn't easy, but that was the turning point for me. Nice, mm -hmm. brilliant. So you decided to write a book um, yes. about your experiences to help others, and uh, you wanted your mother to write a chapter in this book, am I right? <laughs> yes. Uh, but then, Caroline, what actually happened because <laughs> you ended up writing your entire own book about it. Yeah, I had quite a lot to say. <laughs> and I wanted to help and encourage parents, and the more I thought about it, the more there was. So, yeah, I wrote my book. You can tell by the fitness of <laughs> yeah. This is aimed at parents just to show that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely, and that there's hope, and to keep love alive for their kids, because it's very easy to hate your child. You can get really angry with what they do, mm. but to keep forgiving them and to keep loving them, because you don't know what will happen or when that day will be that they will turn around, and you need to be there. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, both of you look like very normal, hard-working human <laughs> beings, and I guess there's an element of not realising that it can happen to yeah. certain people. Mm. Uh, what do you think is the biggest advice you could give people watching right now, apart from reading your book, Caroline? Parents yes. with drug addict yes. children, just keep loving them. Draw boundaries that you need to to keep yourself safe but keep loving them, keep forgiving them for all the awful stuff they say to you, all the awful things they do, um, and keep hope alive. Because mm. there is hope after addiction, there's life after addiction, there's relationship after addiction. And Bea, <laughs> how is your relationship right now? Oh, it's great. We're closer than oh we've ever been. Yeah. So, yeah, really loving it. Excellent. Hey, well, thank you so much mm. for coming in and sharing your story. Brilliant. Avia's book, Rehabilitated, and Caroline's book, Where There's Life, There Really Is Hope, are both available now from all great bookstores. And you can check out their website for more information. Yes, please do. Fantastic authors. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story. Inspirational stuff.